Welcome back. Tonight I am going to make a fire pit out of a propane tank. It is sitting right there. As you can see, I will use my plasma cutter and I will cut a design in there that will look pretty cool when uh, you have the fire in there. It's for a motorcycle club in town. The name of the motorcycle club is Punishers. You'll obviously see that. I was commissioned by them to make it for them, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. Not doing a car thing, doing a fire pit. And that's kind of how I got my name of my channel and of my uh, Facebook account that I have that's called Bob's Custom Designs because I make a lot of things, not just um, fire pits, I make tables, I make wall hangers, um, I'll uh, take you out to the yard and I'll show you a few things that I've made that are sitting around that, you know, a lot of people think are cool. I'll take parts of these, and this is a propane tank that was no longer in service that had to be decommissioned. I got it from A and B uh, Propane, and those fellows were nice enough to give me that, and they've given me a few over the years. Um, I've probably made about 250 of these. This is the first time I've ever videotaped me making one, but I'll take you outside and I'll show you the ones I got outside that are just sitting around. Here's one right here. I call it my tattoo. There you can see the Punisher that I put in there. I also put, started to do a Von Dutch Eye right there and it fell out and then for some reason I just got to stop doing it. It's got a cross on the back side and what I did with a lot of those crosses is I also made those instruments that people uh, put up on their houses, in their walls, and I do different cuts inside the middle of those. This right here is a Dark Vader one. Now, I made that thing a lot of years ago, and everybody who had a Dark Vader tattoo showed me. That one right there is uh, the skeleton from Social Distortion, and it's basically a wall scone. I'll go turn that on. These are 55 gallon drums that I make them out of too. There's a skeleton right there. And we also have a Punisher on this one. This is uh, another propane tank. I cut a spider in. We've used it a lot. This thing gets fire red. It uh, Also the large one gets fire red. That is not a water heater, that is actually a water tank, and that's like uh, 200 gallons, and it's pressurized, so it's really a good vessel. I worked at a hospital, and throughout the years, we'd go through, and we'd have to get rid of water tanks that, got, that would start to leak. Here's an example of one right here that has not had the insulation stripped off of it, or the uh, tin around the outside. Now these things are pretty insulated. They're also pretty thick as far as the steel goes. So they're really good for fire pits. Boom. And there you go. There's your skeleton. Like Social D would like. That's yeah, pretty cool. And here's my sign coming in here from the late great Reed. And uh, we called him Muff. And he was known for the saying, no Muff too tough. Which is on my toolbox right there. There you go, no Muff too tough. And that was from him. Later on we'll do a, a video on his truck that I inherited when he passed. He gave it to me. 
like about a week before he passed. But he knew I always liked it. It's a 62 Ford F100 unibody. It's a long bed. I'm going to make a nice shop truck out of it. A 351 Cleveland. And here we go. Here's the ones out in front of my house. That one right there is a cross. That one's a face. Right there. And then this one right here is also a face. Now these were one of my first, first ones. And what they do is this water tank, some of them are so small that you cannot basically make a fire pit out of it because it's just too small. But you can make some really cool wall sconce or some signs. That's it. That's what it'll look like when it's on fire. And you got an echo in there. And um, maybe I'll put it on fire. Not sure. The person that I made it for might want to come pick it up and do it himself. But they look pretty cool. It'll last forever. It's basically about a quarter. Eh, it's over an eighth. So it's about an eighth, eighth inch thick steel. 
They make these things pretty, pretty durable so they're not going to uh, blow up on you. So leave a comment, share the video with your friends, and like it or dislike it, and tell me your criticism. I'm open to anything. That's it. Have a good day.